Hey guys, this is a short information video about Turkish language. I am starting a series of Turkish lessons for English speakers with animated videos. And I will start from the beginning for all those friends who want to learn Turkish in an easy way. So let me tell you a short information about Turkish language. Turkish is a Turkic language about 70 million speakers mainly in Turkey and Cyprus. There are also Turkish speakers in Australia, Austria, Azerbaijan, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Cyprus, Denmark, El Salvador, Finland, France, Georgia, Germany, Greece, Honduras, Iran, Iraq, and Palestine. Turkish was written with Arabic alphabet before Turkey became a democratic country in 1920. In the time of Ottoman Empire, Turkish was written in Arabic alphabets and mainly used Arabic words. There are many words imported from Arabic, Persian and other Turkic languages. Turkish is a Turkic language which has many similarities with other Turkic languages such as Azerbaijani, Turkmen, Uzbek and other. These are all from one Turkic family, which has different writing system and grammar. But mostly they have many similarities, that's why they are very close to each other. But now Turkish is written in Latin alphabets since 1920 and Turkish alphabets is called Turkçe alfabe. Turkish language has 29 letters and they look same as English letters but there are some different letters than English, such as C. In Turkish, it's pronounced as J. Another C. This letter with tick mark, it, in Turkish, it's pronounced as Ç. G. In Turkish, it's pronounced as yumuşak G. And you can see the difference between G and this G. I. In Turkish, it's pronounced as I. I without dot. O with two dots. In Turkish, it's pronounced as E, e, S. In Turkish, it's pronounced as Ş, Ş. U with two dots. In Turkish, it's pronounced as Ü, Ü. They look same, but they just have some signs. That's why they make different sound. But other Turkish letters make same sound as English letters. And we will get to that in later videos. So don't worry. Turkish is easy and simple than English language because it doesn't have complicated writing system such as English language. In English we sometimes write differently and read different but in Turkish we read as we write and it's easy to read and write. And of course I'll make it more simple and easy with my animated video style. So in the next video we will learn Turkish alphabets and one by one I will explain how to pronounce them. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. If you like this video then subscribe and like this video and most importantly share this video with your friends and family and with those who really want to learn how to speak Turkish. Thanks for watching and see you soon.